What does the fox say? You hear that? That's a lame party. But Upbeat is here to change that. Our whole team is uh, interested in music. Uh, we're all avid party goers. Uh, a lot of us are Greek, so we do have a lot of experience uh, with uh, hear, hearing uh, DJs play music we like and especially music we don't like. The app allows party goers to vote on their favorite music. Upbeat simplifies a party because the song with the most votes is the one that gets played next. This eliminates the constant need for people to request songs at the DJ booth. Now, just use your phone. I know that I've been to parties a lot where I'm really not feeling what the DJ's playing, and to know that I could have a say and like make the party better. The group agreed on the common idea of the app, but there were definitely points of contention among the members. So a lot of us have different ideas for design, a lot of us have different ideas for how the actual app could work, um, monetization, what we thought would be effective in terms of advertising, um, user flow, uh, anything from literally where the songs come from to where uh, parties would actually be held. The Upbeat team has learned a lot about entrepreneurship through working together on this app and enjoy continuing their love of creating. It's not like where you have a job and someone else is telling you what to do, but it's like you have a great idea and you're like going out there and actually making it a real thing. Upbeat spent months developing a working prototype that could be used by partygoers. The cool thing about the app is that it interacts with other devices and is constantly updating itself. A month ago we never would have thought that, that demo down there would be working right now, but it is. And that's really cool that like we just had it in our minds like a few months ago and now it's like actually down there and people are using it. Upbeat is challenging the way that music is listened to as a group. Any anytime you have the ability to kind of introduce people to new music or have a way of, you know, they used to call it kind of like the taste makers, you know, the people that would like, hey, I've heard a cool song, check this out. So yeah, anytime you can have that happen in a group setting, that's fantastic. Popular music will clearly be at the top of the list when using Upbeat, which presents a downside. What are people used to hearing, right? So it's like if it's the popular song that everybody knows is the one that gets voted to the top and you're not really hearing anything new because it's all stuff you've you already know. The Upbeat team sees a bright future for the music app and anticipates it being used at tailgates in the fall. We have a lot of potential and like I said, USC is a great space for us to tap all the resources around. Um, we can all uh, start off in our social groups, our respective social groups, to really bring Upbeat into its, its next step. Upbeat is part of a new way of listening to music as a group and will continue to expand with the innovation of entrepreneurs. For Annenberg Media, I'm Alexa Palermo.